But one thing I'd say to that, and a lot of people have been asking questions about UTXOs, dollar cost averaging, the best way to get into Bitcoin for the average person. And I think what I would say to that, because you, you kind of have two options there. The first option that you have, to, to th if you're thinking far in advance, the first option that you have there is to have an exchange that you like, that you trust, and you move Bitcoin off of there onto your cold card or into a wallet. And every time you do that, you create one UTXO. So you want to have a sizable amount there before you move it. So I wouldn't suggest anything under like 200,000 sats, which is about $200 here, I think, in Canada. So if you're, if you're doing less than that, I would wait until you have a bit of a balance there. Wait until you have over 200,000 sats before you move that into your cold storage wallet. But if you, if you understand the different layers and you have the ability to use Lightning, that's what I would suggest doing because you could use a company like Bull Bitcoin, and there are other exchanges out there who do this, who offer Lightning withdrawals. But on Bull Bitcoin, you can actually take five bucks, you can take 10 bucks, $20 if you want to do like 20 bucks a day. You can move it from Bull Bitcoin directly into your Lightning wallet. And what I'd be doing there, and we talked about on the Living in the Future show yesterday, we talked about the Phoenix wallet. And I apologize to the American viewers out there right now who don't have the ability to use Light or uh, Phoenix. But that, that's what I would be doing. I would set up a, a Lightning wallet like Phoenix or like Mutiny, I think is the other good one that people use second best to Phoenix. And set up a channel there. It's going to cost you about 10,000 sats on Phoenix. And then you add some liquidity. Make sure you're adding liquidity when the fees, which we talk about every day, layer one fees, are low. So you can go on there. You can see how much it's going to cost you to buy 500,000 sats worth of liquidity, a million sats worth of liquidity. But then you buy that. And then every time you're sending lightning to your lightning wallet, it's pretty much free because you're not going to get charged from the exchange to move it out. And you're not going to get charged to bring it into your wallet if you have it set up properly. And so with that, you could send five bucks, 10 bucks. You could wait till your, your balance accrues high enough for your five and $10 transactions to be like 500,000. And then once you get to that balance in your Phoenix wallet or your mutiny wallet, whatever lightning wallet you're using, that's when you move it from lightning wallet to your on chain, to your cold storage. So that, that's a really good way to be able to DCA without screwing yourself over in the future. So consider using Lightning for that if you're somebody who likes the DCA every week, every month, and you don't have, you know, you don't have a thousand or two thousand dollars to put in every every time. Consider using uh, an exchange that allows for Lightning withdrawals. Bull Bitcoin does, and just do that. Just send it to Lightning. You pay zero fees pretty much, and then when you have a, enough of a balance sitting in there, that's when you move it from Lightning to your on-chain cold storage. 